Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have Divine Masculine Twin Flame read for you today. The energies were a little bit tough yesterday. I went into a little bit of a purge last night around 10 o'clock, actually. I think it was like 10.01, which that I dated or timed the, uh, the, uh, when I was writing. And it came up because some sexual energy came through for my twin. And it wasn't a lot. It was just, I got really angry that, um, someone was taking something that I wasn't giving to them. And of course it's a control thing, but obviously I need to release it. And so, but it was, it, it was a big one. I haven't cried like that in a long time. And, um, um, I probably cried for a good half hour. And then, um, when I went to bed, I cried again. So it got me good last night, but there's definitely some doors that closed yesterday. And I think that was definitely energy coming in from both sides, not just the feminines. So if you've experienced anything like that, and I woke up, if I cry, I always wake up feeling like I got hit by a Mack truck. So that's the way I've been kind of feeling all day. But I don't feel bad. I had a nice conversation with a friend. And um, and this is an amazing read that I have today. So um, just a little tired, you know, just a little bit of uh, energy taken out of me. But it's a beautiful day. It's not as warm as it was. It went up to 80 degrees here on Saturday. And so it's very sunny here today, but it's got cold again. So... I'm going to get into the read. It's April Fools. So, uh, fool is a good thing to be. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> um, the day is the first. So of course the magician energy and the day adds up to 17, which is an eight. So it's definitely about that, uh, infinity, that ever continuous energy, um, in a closed loop. Okay, because we are human, we live in a human body, and it's the 17th of the star, which is all about dreams and healing and believing in miracles, because you can manifest whatever you want. So we have the magician and the star today. That's very strong manifestation energy and healing, if you use it properly. So, getting right into the read, it was done at 11.55 today. I went to sleep too late last night, and I didn't get quite enough sleep. I got okay, but I, it wasn't enough. So, of course, the read wasn't until 11.55, almost noon. And the major arcana from the Syrian Starseed deck were Transition, which is the death card in the traditional deck, Guidance, which is the Hierophant in the traditional deck, and then the Higher Self, which is the High Priestess. There were four swords for the masculine, one cup, one wand, one pentacle. So it was very heavy on the swordy side today. So it's definitely coming through. The masculine's going to feel you just as much as you feel them. So if I was purging last night, I'm sure there was some kind of um, situation going on with him as well. The king of swords came up here as well as the page of swords. Okay, so two of the swords were people. Could be people. Page could be also a, an energy. The numbers and the coding was all about change, relationship change, and time out. All right, take time to take a time out. The numbers were 11, 55, 66, as well as 5, 6, and 11. And again, 5, 6 were the numbers that were left out the other day, right? So 5, 6 is pick up sticks, which is the burden, all right? So it's coming up because that's the burden that I needed to release last night. Uh, 13 came up as well as the portal energy. So the portal energy was definitely coming up again yesterday and today. And the challenge card is the, the portal, okay? It's the death card in this deck. 56, the number 56 also came up, and 56 is the two of swords, about being in your knowing and not needing to know the answer, because you already know. Um, number eight, which is that perpetual balanced flow and staying at zero point, and then 42, uh, excuse me, 41, 21 came up, and 41 is the ace of cups, and 21 is the world of completion. So new love, self-love, spiritual love, and completion, that that's all you need. All you need is love, da, da. okay? So the coding message was about, well, I don't know how cl absolutely clear it was, but it's definitely about mothers interfering. And uh, that came up in some of my information from yesterday as far as how the mother-father-child dynamic happens. And also the Hierophant came up, which is all about commitments. And I was also getting tradition. Okay, so tradition came up. Someone's breaking their tradition yesterday and today with their family. Um, so the masculine's definitely getting into some of that. Um, and notice the Hierophant 
is not spelled the same way as hero or hero scamos. The I and the E are the other way around. Um, so hero font is not the hero. Okay, so tr tradition isn't isn't the end all be all. A tradition is something somebody started, and then they just continued doing it. Okay. Um, it's also about just resonating with source, your higher self, God, love. To see that transition, allow yourself to go through the portal. Take a step outside your circle. Change the loop. Instead of looping around and doing the same tradition every year, just try something different this year. Change the energy somehow. Expanding mother love to God love. So especially for a lot of uh, masculines there who may be mama's boys, that kind of thing, or just been raised by a lot of feminines around them, it's about letting go of the mother energy as being the end-all, be-all, and know-all to that source, your higher self energy. That is the only source of true knowing. Okay? Of course, your mother loves you, but that's not the point I'm trying to make here. When you're seeking transition and true ascension and, um, and just elevation of love, it's just about connecting with your higher self always to the collective consciousness. Also, Macy or Mazi, someone may have a nickname, Mazi, Mazi, Mazi or Mazi, and then Freedom was coming up. Also, five mothers and six guys. I don't know if someone has a big family where, like, they have a lot of women around, they're all mothers, like five mother people mothering the divine masculine, and then six guys you think they're God around him because they have those traditional roles. But I was getting that. Five mothers and six guys are gods. See change. They see transition. This tradition gets outed, okay? So there's definitely change happening here. So as we get into the read, uh, I did pull a few things up from online. Transition Fit came up from Facebook. Just a trainer in the Ashford area. Five out of five stars. So Ash came up here. Answer Man came up. Brown's Pottery and Arden in transition. But Charlie, his name is Charlie Brown, so Charlie Brown was coming up. Um, Fur transition songs for preschool and early age childhood as well as 10 preschool transitions teaching mama. All right, so mama, mama needs some teaching here. And that was from teachingmama.org. Teaching mama what time, when it's time to clean up your mess. Then I was getting sign signs everywhere, a sign, okay? So the five man electric band from YouTube came up and eight signs, you're way smarter than the people around. If you see this creature, run fast and ask for help. Okay, so that might be a, a message for you guys. And then two, it was their second album, Goodbyes and Butterflies. Okay, and definitely yesterday the message was all about butterflies and saying goodbye. That was from 1970. I'm trying to think, what was 1970 for me? Hmm. Well, I would have been nine that year, and I definitely started gymnastics. I was eight when I started gymnastics, but I think I turned nine soon after I started gymnastics. And then I had this meet all of a sudden, and I, it was pretty new, and I ended up taking home first all around. So I was just so excited when I came home to tell my mom. That's what it reminds me of that year. Um, another heading that came up, girls can sing like a man reaction. So it was some th uh, Thai girl in a competition show who could sing in two different voices, one like a woman, but one like a man. Um, these, so, you know, being both parts of you, the feminine and the masculine, being at zero point and perfectly balanced. Um, these five skills critical for success and career um, advancement came up. So I kind of, they didn't have really short titles, so I kind of um, summarized them into a way that made sense for the twins. So the first one was persuasion and influence, okay? So just being confident in yourself. Number two was commercial attitude, which I don't like the commercial attitude, but it was really about being multidimensional, not just being about the angle that you're specifically working with, but all the angles that you might have to deal with within your own business. Uh, third was command your own direction. Perfect. Don't look for confirmation or affirmation outside of yourself. Speak your truth. And don't worry about what other people think. <coughs> which is why I'm losing my voice, okay? Number four, clean up, clean up, compliment, and then create. So don't worry about needing, coming in like halfway on somebody else's project. Show them what you can do, helping them clean up, then and compliment them. 
So clean, help them clean up, compliment them on their project, and then show them that you can create your own project. So that was the uh, information there. And then the fifth one was no stress. Okay, you need, to, you need to show others how to work without getting stressed out about things because then people will resonate with you. They'll automatically be drawn to you. Um, another heading that came up was uh, just the number five from Wikipedia, the definition of, of five. And it was coming up as unique in the Fibonacci sequence, in the parent sequence, so they're all mathematical sequences. Um, in the parent sequence, five is both fifth and sixth. So it comes up about the five, the five and the six. Uh, five is the length of the hypotenuse of a smaller integer right-sided triangle. And Sierpinski, I'm sorry, I'm not saying that right, uh, the number of the first kind, which is S2 equals two and two in parentheses plus one. Okay. Uh, did I get all the numbers? Yeah. So again, I was saying five, six kept coming up because those were the missing numbers from the one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door. And now it keeps coming up to remind us not to keep picking up sticks. Once you've let them go, it's 11, 11, let them go. Stop picking them up again. Stop putting more bore burdens on you. You know, once you learn to dump them, don't go back to your old ways and pick up more sticks because you feel like you're not doing enough or you're, you know, you're not busy because that's the old template of being not worthy unless you're busy or stressed, which is false. So as we get into the read here, it starts out with the King of Swords. All right, so this is the energy, the underlying energy. It's the Master of Orbs with the Five of Orbs beneath it, okay? And this, for me, is very much brain wars. It's fear. It's when you circle around and you're at war with yourself in your own mind. No one's in the war except for you, okay? And this is very much the MO of the, uh, of the King of Swords because he's all about logic, and he's stuck in his head... So when he's not in control of something or he goes into fear, he automatically goes into brain wars. You want to come see? You want to be on there? Okay. I have one of my ants visiting me. My bug ants. I have three ants, maybe a fourth one there. But now they don't stay in the kitchen on the counter. They come to visit. There's no food in here for them to eat. They come here to be on me, be near me, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, so we have this underlying energy here, very sorty. It's not a good energy. It's a very severe, cold person on a, um, on a cement chair with a bunch of steps that people have to walk up to get to him, right? Because that keeps people separate from him. Then he's in his head in brain wars. So the King of Swords hides his fears by no show of emotion. There were six steps showing with all the cards on top here, and Ma was coming up here as part of the coding. So it's about him being Mama's boy, okay? That Mom is controlling uh, his life, that he's not actually the one in control. So the King of Pentacles is here on this King of Swords. The King of Pentacles, Pentacles is either the persona of the King of Swords in his business world choosing a path, or there's a king of pentacles, father or boss type figure who's standing there saying, you got to choose a path. And the masculine is going into brain wars because he's saying, if I choose this path, it's the one I've been on and I'm not really happy. If I choose this path of the twins, then I can't go back to my family and depend on them anymore for help they've been giving me, whether it's financial or whatever. But it's coming up very financial here. So, and it's basically too, it could be a situation where the King of Pentacles tells the King of Swords to choose a path and no more running to family to dig you out when you when it doesn't work. Or the King of Pentacles chooses the path and the King of Swords, um, it's like his alter egos. Like when he's in his King of Pentacles, you know, he's the man, he can choose the path. But the King of Swords is the child who ends up running back to the family for help. Codependency on the mother. And if they don't have a mother who's still alive, it can still be codependency on that, that um, wound from the death of their mother. Or it could be someone else who, who behaves like a mother in their life. It could be a father who acts like a mother in their life. The King of Pentacles sits on a natural throne. The King of Swords sits on a stone, on cement, according to the letter of the law of Ma. Emperor. Or, so it's the Emperor Sovereign. So he either he himself is sovereign or single at this moment. Or the emperor 
and sovereign. So it could be the emperor and his twin flame or the emperor and his daughter. Okay, it could be anything like that. He's coming up as the emperor sovereign devil, purging codependence of twin peaks. Space between the mountains, which is the heart. Okay, walking away and within. It doesn't mean he's the devil. It could be he's just Capricorn sovereign emperor. Okay, but he's purging that devil energy, the codependence of of the twin peaks, the mother energy, right? And someone might actually that might be a message specifically for someone who, who mom whose mom just has big boobs and they tease her all the time that she's twin peaks. Um, but it's the space between the mountains of the heart, walking away and within. The Knight of Cups offering love at home by schooling uh, schooling the bird and his kids. And it could be the goose, too, who's got their gander up all the time, right? So the person who's always flapping their wings and yelling and complaining, and then the, the sphinx is, is schooling them. Okay? So he, he's keeping them in line like a sphinx drill sergeant while Angel reads up on their messages. So he's keeping all these crazy people organized while he allows the, the feminine to do her thing. Destined to be with Angel. His angel wings are dry, hard, and brittle from long time abuse. Skinny white legs take a ride by the falls, foot in triangles. This is coming up on the card. So some, some of the masculines may have a, a thing about their legs. But skinny white legs were coming up. You know, when you go out on the beach for the first time, everyone has that that self-consciousness about having white legs. Unless, of course, you're brown. <laughs> but skinny white legs take a ride by the falls, foot in a triangle on a white horse, no less. Yesterday, let's see. Yesterday, someone was, I was getting the horse down. It was a white horse, like a unicorn horse. The horse maybe was taken down in a race or somebody's personal horse was sick or having a baby um, or, or just injured. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is coming up here. He is, the Knight of Cups is coming up as the Knight in Shining Armor. The Knight of Swords would never think to polish his armor. Okay, so it's coming from the Knight of Cups. He walked away from eight, which may be five and three, but that's because he is the Ninth Cup. That cup is in his hand as the Knight of Cups, ready to offer love. It's in his hand, ready to offer himself in his authenticity, working out his calves on his mountain bike or hike with um, a walking stick for old men. <laughs> Expressing passionate feelings at home openly at night when the stars are out. And then I was getting, at night when all the world's asleep, the questions run so deep for such a simple man. Won't you please, please tell me what to know? I know it sounds absurd, please tell me who I am. So that's coming from the masculine, because he's always used to someone telling him what to do and running his life for him. He never had to do anything. They took his masculine right away from him. Coming out guns blazing on a quest for the impossible dream to follow that star, no matter how far, ripples and butterfly effect. Not the star of Dallas, though. He is not a cowboy, but a wise guy who likes his girl natural, Focused on symbols and shadow work, gold light, and pouring out of emotions throughout the land, some direct ripples and some lactating tributaries. Back to the womb. Express your love beneath that was playfulness. Sad in separation with red tulips and buttercup yellow curtains and a token of his heart by the vase. Out with an innocent, or so she seems, hiding what is deemed to be his whore, his tease. Controlled and ordered by his mother, or mother, or mother in karmic, with snake at her disposal to hold back Odonis or Atlas's arms. Or the karmic may be out with a new boyfriend and acting all innocent and pure when she's, that's the last thing she is. So it's coming up as a couple different situations here. But it's just show, it's playing out the templates that, you know, everyone's heard the saying, you know, that, that every man wants, you know, um, the, the pure woman out in public and then the whore in the bedroom. What well, was coming up that this is like the karmic saying, or maybe your mother got you this karmic. I don't know if, if your 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 mother got you this girl or not, but it's coming up like that, like or or your karmic saying, you know, I'm the mother you always wanted, right? I'm the the pure one out in public. I'm the good religious person or whatever she is, and then I'm the whore in your bedroom for you. 
when it may be her addictions in the bedroom, not his. But it's also coming up as potentially it's actually that she is in the third party relationship, not the masculine. Um, and now she's with a new boyfriend acting like she's all perfect, right? And being religious again. Um, she'll, or she's saying to him, I'll allow him one hug with the divine feminine. And then, and then he must say goodbye. And then she says, buttercup. This is coming from the karmic. She says, buttercup superhero capes will never do. That's beneath the king of wands. And so for the mother is saying it's beneath the king of wands son. And for the karmic it's just saying it's beneath the king of wands Superman, right? After all, she bought him an innocent for the public who's a whore in the bedroom. What man could want for more? Red sexy boots to walk right over you. Okay, so it's getting this, this energy of the King of Wands and the Tarot Sexual Magic is a beautiful energy, right? So you have you, this energy of the Buttercup Yellow and Mary Magdalene was all over the reed yesterday, okay? This is the energy of the Masculine and the Divine Feminine of the Buttercup Yellow and the Karmic saying, what's with that color, you know? Where's the red, right? And big red boots in the walk all over you energy, okay? Um, the underlying signs here, just for the underlying energy, were Taurus reversed, Aries both ways, Cancer was upright, Virgo was reversed, Aquarius was upright, Pisces reversed, Gemini reversed, Libra, Capricorn, and I'm not sure which direction they were, but they were definitely there in the underlying energy. And the Aries was coming up as upright if they're the in control emperor, but reversed if they were in their fool energy or lacking faith. So Again, with the karmic energy is coming across saying, you know, defending herself, red sexy boots to walk right over you, um, cowboy crest, conch shell, and dead bug whispering in your ear at the beach, and she kills bugs too, like what more could you ask from a woman? She's given you everything you've ever wanted, silks, satins, and royals. Now you want greens and browns and buttercup yellow and all natural, and then there's someone like just screaming, okay? which is actually what I was doing last night because I was pissed and I was hurt. So I was crying and screaming like, because I was so mad that someone's taking something from me that I'm not offering to them and how hurtful it is and how can you hurt me this way? Why would you want to hurt someone that you love like that? So healing comes up as really important for the masculine here and that's number 66, which is the queen of pentacles. So needing to heal with your twin and the effort was coming up below that of number 13, which is allowing the complete transformation, the transition, step out of the circle, the repeating pattern. The Queen of Cups reversed, purges in a big cry to a release, like I did last night. Her anxiety prison of feeling incomplete, bringing cycle to a close. Defenseless to strong energies that come in from the Emperor. Why would he want to hurt her so, while he also receives those attacking energies to his status as Emperor? He doesn't have to be the emperor in this read. He can be the emperor or it could be a father in his midst or someone like a father or a boss, that kind of thing. Needed to remove, the masculine now or the emperor needs to remove that Caesar's crown and hang it on the stovetop exhaust vent. No, a fa no, or not a fan of brass or gold anyway. He prefers copper because it has rows and or 22 karat gold and toes. An astrological forecast of the next American president. Red, white, and blue, and gold, perhaps, with magnetized gold cuffs, and scepter with gold light. All masks and bets are off. When the Queen of Cups drops and releases, the Emperor rises both free. The Emperor King of Swords, so the Emperor can be the King of Swords or it could be the King of uh, Pentacles, for sure. I'm leaning now more towards the King of Pentacles. If, it's the, if the Emperor is the father, he's coming up as the King of Pentacles. If the Emperor is the masculine, he's coming up more as the King of Swords. So the Emperor King of Swords, and it could be both in this read. The Emperor King of Swords on a quest of fate, expressing his love and being playful as the King of Wands healing. So then when the masculine starts seeing himself or talking about himself in reference to the feminine, he becomes the King of Wands. Um, recently is the Hierophant guidance to student with large burden of divorce, breaking contract, or thinking outside the box spiritually, using inspiration, dumping tradition, and not taking 
and not taking advice or crap from parents and or bosses. The foundation is the peace of the King of Wands, watching himself fall on his face and allowing it, lacking faith and intuition, being ignorant, or in other words, another perspective is just being unaware, not connected to their higher self, ignorant to their own fears. Centrally, the energy is um, a child, it's the page of swords, or a message with a little light is all it takes to let go of that performing, to be the front man so that nobody knows what's going on behind him, repeating patterns to stay balanced instead of expanding to new landing field. So get outside that circle to change the pattern. Hori so change the new landing field or horizons as an angel, patient and slow, going with the flow. The King of Cups, unconditional love, stalking fat, because remember yesterday we talked about fat being love, um, sexual energy of fantasy angel, knowing what he was doing, but, but pretending it was all fine and good. So he's admitting to himself that he knew, but he still ignored her anyway. The challenge being transition of connection to third party while coming together at work with the Queen of Wands and King of Wands as the High Priestess or as a secret. When knowing the wounded warrior had to fend off all this unwanted energy from the karmic. So there may be a situation where maybe the masculine wants to come forward, but um, he's still, in, uh, even if he's not in the relationship with the karmic anymore, he may still be working with the karmic, so he doesn't want to bring the feminine in until that's cleared out. But how is he going to see her on the sly now in the meantime? So the angel truth is self-love and freedom. Crowning is the ace of cups. The empress is okay, but down on her luck, or there's been a slowdown with the king of wands reversed, could be horny here in separation, but still working with the devil as the emperor or with the devil emperor. So again, like I said, this could be a boss or a father or uncle or father-in-law, but it's two different situations. So, and the king of wands reversed could be the karmic as well, because she's com it's coming up with the uh, empress as a clarifier to this ace of cups. So the empress can be the karmic, who's pissed because she's sexually frustrated with the king of pentacles masculine or it could be a karmic who left her masculine for his father or for someone related to him or a really close friend so i'm getting definitely one situation where the masculine's karmic left him for someone in their their close circle and this is that situation where where he's really pissed and then we have the King of Pentacles right next to him, who's the devil, who's the emperor, who she's now with, because he has more money than him. That's one situation. All could just, also could just be the dynamic between the masculine and his own father or boss or whoever he is. Um, and that King of Wands being reversed, so piss are just really exhausted. But the King of Pentacles is upright, but he's the devil. <laughs> so he thinks justified in his, in, his, in his devilish ways. Or it could just be a Capricorn, King of Pentacles. But he's the emperor. So the masculine is um, letting go of this hierophant guidance, the tradition, to student with large burden of divorce, breaking contract, or thinking outside the box spiritually, using inspiration, dumping that tradition, and not taking any crap from parents or bosses. Um, where are we here? So, so it's on this Ace of Cups, which is probably reversed here. So somebody got dumped, whether it's him or his karmic. The Empress is okay, and that can also represent the feminine in some situations if the Emperor is the masculine. But when you change the Empress, the masculine, cha the Emperor changes too. So if the Emperor is the feminine, then the Emperor is the masculine. If the Empress is the mother, then the Emperor is the father. Okay. So the Empress is okay, but she's down on her luck, or there may be a slowdown at work or in their business. With the King of Wands reversed, horny, or just pissed, or frustrated, in separation but still working with the devil as emperor or with the devil emperor sending dark energies his way either way or either mother is concerned about his money-making abilities while his heart is broken uh, while he's working with his devilish father or his karmic about the same considering him the devil now that they're broken up new love offers to help the emperor king of swords 
player, so the emperor can be the king of swords if it's the masculine, and king of pentacles if it's that father over him, okay? So new love offers to help the emperor, king of swords or king of pentacles, player or boss, whoever it is, or offers help with an ex looking in at work to try to get their energy. So it's getting to that, um, and if there may be a dynamic where the masculine tries to get the feminine to come into a workplace where he is, where the karmic is still also, or the karmic just trying to sneak in around where they are to take, to, you know, steal energy. The emperor could be a father, a relative, friend, or boss who is now with his karmic, the masculine's karmic, angel recovering from awakening for a new life without the karmic, but with new love, truth, and 5D world needing liquid courage to make an offer to free his passions. Soon for the masculine is his higher self, which is also his twin. Offers love to the king of swords. So his higher self offering love to him, the king of swords, who's shy or feels rejected. Grounding awakening and yet offering love in 5D as the king of wands to the high priestess. So he changes in 5D to the king of wands. He is conflicted about the queen of pentacles messages looking back. What he said to her as... Seeing her differently now, Queen of Cups may have received messages a very different way and much harsher. So he's looking back at what he said, their communications, or what she said. And he's, it's coming off like page messages back and forth, so that smaller, immature talk, or whatever it is back then. And now coming in as the Knight of Swords, right, the messenger of truth in a much harsher way. Um, that the Queen of Cups may have received those messages in a very different way, much harsher than he actually presented. Um, it is safe to love, romantic feelings, honeymoon, love yourself first, and engagement comes through as the energies for the masculine here. Um, before was the Page of Swords talking behind the back of the Queen of Pentacles or the Divine Feminine. Now he is the Knight of Swords chasing down the, the Queen of Cups for the truth. Around the Divine Masculine or how he is seen is one big boner or flame riding in to end his to end his or her sovereignty or rescue the prisoner and share, teach and learn from each other. The masculine needs to clear blocks about sharing perfectly equally with announcements or judgments to make or about money making and finding peace. You know, it's never perfectly equal and you need to just allow each other to do your thing. And know that it's never going to absolutely be one way all the time. You can't control it. That's the point. Uh, you can't just find peace away from all unhappiness by judging or ordering other people around. Starting over and not settling for a devil's wave to twin to prove that something's true. You have to be in your knowing. You have to have faith. Change, relationship change, time out, in, but even more so for the masculine is intuition, domestic harmony, and don't forget domestic harmony is about your heart is your home, and adventure are very powerful here. Um... Him going nuts, wanting to judge, or make his own announcements, perhaps. Um, but his inner boy is not knowing the right words to say to bring them together harmoniously. Lightning strikes in separation, afraid of rejection, when how could he be dealing with knowing... How could he deal with knowing this if she rejects him and be free if she is always feeling his sexual energy. So it's like the table's turning, and just like I felt it last night and got angry. Now the masculine's going to be aware of the dynamic, dynamic and understand why this is such an issue for the feminine. And also, who would then ground him? Because he knows now he gets his energy from his feminine. And who's going to ground him now when he becomes ungrounded? Unhappy family ending. He's over it now. Healing while working, feeling insecure, and maybe a little bit manipulative because he's feeling insecure. After being dumped, um, this could be he, him or the Queen of Pentacles. So it could be where the karmic definitely just dumped him, or it could be vice versa. But also him imagining, uh, what if I come in and do make an offer to the Divine Feminine, is she going to dump me? So it could just be that potential situation as well. Leading the journey, not working, without affection, these very uncomfortable emotions of not feeling worthy or enough. Holding back energy of new life to end the purging cycles, right? Which never really ends, so it's silly to hold back anything because of the purging cycles, but wanting to be stable and balanced before exposing all. Being childlike, naked, and happy. 
before doing anything, or he's waiting for his kids to be stable before doing anything. The King of Swords, unable to find peace, conflicted with passion, his twin flame, divine marriage message may have hit home in transition through the portal of his higher self and sharing new love and healing through work with crystals and diamond light energies. Uh, the King of Swords, and it was 222 when I changed the page here. The King of Swords contracted uh, with the Emperor, finding peace and messages of love and transitions through the portals that he's experienced recently and endings, but conflicted by his higher self when he's in separation because he loses faith. Okay? So, so he's got this new driving passion to share, heal, and work, right? So to go into his mission, in other words while he's building up the courage and knowing what to say to his feminine. The signs that came up for the body of the reed, um, what was it that didn't come up? In the body of the reed, there was really no cancer energy that came up. There might have been something minor there somewhere, but there was no major for sure anywhere for the cancer. Um, it was in the underlying energy upright, but nothing in the body of the reed. Uh, Sagittarius was upright, Capricorn, Taurus, were both upright. Aries was upright or reversed. It could be two separate people. Pisces reversed for sure. Aquarius upright. Virgo was R Virgo and Gemini reversed energy. Leo upright. Scorpio upright and reversed. And Libra was reversed. And like I said, no cancer energy in general, which doesn't mean there's no cancers there. It's just um, a cancer person may be expressing more of another sign right now. They could still be represented in the read. There were, the emperor was upright, the empress was upright, the king of swords, I don't know which direction the king of swords was, he may not necessarily be upright, the king of pentacles was upright, the knight of cups was definitely upright, not the king of wands, oh yeah, the king of wands was definitely reversed at one point. Oh no, the King of Swords is upright. King of Swords is upright. King of Wands was reversed. King of Pentacles was upright. Who am I missing here? King of Wands. King of Pentacles upright. King of Wands reversed. Swords. Oh, Cups. King of Cups was here too. So just apply it to the signs. If the King of Cups in your life is Pisces, he's reversed. Scorpio is mixed and there's no Cancer. So there's not a lot of the water energy there. So most likely a reversed energy, but it could be Scorpio upright. Um, the queens, the queens were all upright. Um, just the queen of uh, swords wasn't really represented. That's who the sword wasn't. She wasn't really represented in the read much. Uh, the, all, the, all three other queens were upright though. Yeah, all right. So I'm gonna read you some Oracle cards. There's definitely energies, you know, the messages came up yesterday about breaks happening, and there's definitely, with my purge last night, it was just, it was definitely reflecting some kind of break that's going on in the masculine world, whether there was a final breakup after going back and forth a lot, because a lot of the karmic relationships are like that. Um, but it's definitely um, some final doors closing, and the portal is representative here. It's the challenge for the masculine, so it's definitely here. Take a deep breath. I have the Ascension cards here. So I'll take a sip of water. Okay. All right. All right, we are in April now. April 1st. It is Fool's Day. <laughs> For everyone watching and the best and highest good of all this concern, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? The rest of it is just a number for me to assess. Okay. The bottom of this de deck is Lord Kafumi, number 36. Okay. 36 is the Ten of Wands. So it's definitely, once you drop the burdens, the five, six pick up sticks, don't pick them up anymore. No more burdens. You don't have to work hard. 
You have to work inspired. Just do what you love. And when you're not inspired, you don't have guidance, then be still. And know it's okay. You don't have to feel guilty for being still. Uh, Archangel Metatron's retreat is the card that came up, number 28, which is the Two of Wands, Twin Flame. It says, Archangel Metatron's retreat is above the Temple of Luxor, Egypt, where he holds the ascension energy for the world. He maintains his energy by bringing forward spiritual discipline. He suggests you commit to a spiritual practice if you don't already have one. Luxor is the spiritual throat chakra of Earth. As it ascends, people will communicate higher wisdom and link telepathically with all life forms. You're asked to send love and wisdom to all sentient beings. This card invites you to visit Metatron's retreat in your sleep to accelerate your spiritual growth. The affirmation is, I'm visiting Metatron's retreat in my sleep tonight. Okay, and this throat's been going out a lot, so people need, you know, you need to step up and speak your truth. I wanted to bring up, too, um, in the read, it brought up about, you know, the masculine looking back at messages between them and being the page and just light messages. He thought he was keeping it light and it's coming off as harsh. Uh, I'm speaking personally, it's not even the messages that were ever, what were hurtful between the masculine and the feminine. It's the um, ignoring them when you knew that they were in extreme pain and it's about feeling like no one, you know, gave a crap about you. It really wasn't about the messages. Because I don't feel the message, uh, the messages were never, there was nothing ever wrong with the messages. It was just feeling not, um, that someone didn't care about whether you lived or died, honestly. So, it's about letting go of all of that, though. It was, it's not in the words, it's in the, the feeling, the connection. Knowing your heart is about letting go of all the words and the miscommunications. It's about connecting energetically that you know the truth because you feel each other all the time. So why do you keep wondering or you want more proof that there's actually a connection there? I had gotten that message from my other twin flame because he comes through my friend once in a while to channel. He hasn't done that in a while. We haven't wanted to do it, but um, he came through and wanted to say, well, well, let me just see you once and I'll just wave, you know, and, but we won't talk, but you can't react emotionally. And I'm like, well, you can't tell me not to react a certain way. I'm going to be who I am. Um, so it's like that. And it's funny because then the devil waving always comes up in this deck here. So it's always like, here I am, I'm waving, I'm waving. <laughs> but it's not about that. You either believe, you either trust your own instincts or you don't. Okay. But you know, it's true because you feel it too. Okay. So the angel, Archangel Metatron's retreat, 28. And now I have to count the other cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so twenty is judgment. So it's definitely that judgment day energy. We have one, but we have one also. So there's 21 all together. So it's, you know, it's definitely, you know, co it's completion. It's closing out the cycle. Leaving this, you know, the habits behind in order to change into another cycle. Okay, go into another dimension. 20 and 21. And just so you know, at the top of this big pile is the gold ray of Christ. And all, so much stuff about that was coming up in my stuff yesterday about what the gold, what the gold light meant for the children coming into this world. And it's the five of that freedom and hierophant energy, of breaking that hierophant energy of tradition and commitment, because the only real commitment to be should be to your, you and your connection with your higher self, which is your twin. So it's to you and your twin. And then the at the bottom of the deck of that pile is Mary Magdalene. Okay, so Christ and Mary Magdalene, which is 35, the Wounded Warrior. All right, so let's see what we have for the Past Life deck today. Okay, so the Past Life deck. Everybody take another deep breath. Clear and align, and let's fill the empty spaces with only beautiful, organic love and diamond light. We are alive. And God, please armor us all with your love. <sighs> Take another deep breath. For everyone watching this April 1st, 2019, for everyone watching, 
and the highest and best of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? I've got three piles there. At the bottom of the deck is father reversed. Okay, so there's a disconnect from a, a father and son, which is okay if it needs to be done. Okay, so yesterday this was coming up that um, for those, you know, absentee type fathers or fathers who were always there but didn't really connect with their kids, it was a call for them to connect. Today is saying if you need to disconnect, you need to disconnect. Okay, you can't have those negative energies drawing, um, you know, all your positive energy out of your life. You need to stand up for yourself. And sometimes you need, need to do that with journaling, okay? So if you had to disconnect from a parent or a parent figure, or you might have lost someone, all right, it's saying to journal. And, that, that, and that's okay. Parent yourself. All right. So then we have three piles. We have a pile of four cards, which is medicine woman, Medicine man or woman, persecution, inquisitions reversed, wisdom and leaving or travel. So these four cards came out together. Okay, let's see that card. Okay, leaving or travel, wisdom, and then these two. Okay. Then we have a second pile of baby reversed, nature or Native American reversed, and authority figures reversed. Okay, so these three. I get confused which way my hands are going. Okay. And then the third pile here is five cards. We have Greco Roman reversed, knighthood, lessons and blessings reversed, phobias, and communal living. Okay, so we have here Greco Roman, knighthood, lessons and blessings reversed, phobias, which is just fear, and communal living. All right, so let's see what messages I'm getting from these guys. Sorry, my foot's falling asleep. Oh. Okay. Um. <sighs> I wanted to say leaving on a jet plane, but I'm getting more so the wild, wild west like the train track in the wild, wild west, and Texas was definitely coming up. And then we have the, the uh, unicorn, the white unicorn, so some kind of stud, the Texas cowboy stud. has thought long and hard about what he's done, has become wiser, and has stopped stopped being like a traveling salesman, you know, like going from place to place, learning to be wise and pure, letting go of the persecution and inquisition of the past, no longer taking that out on everyone. And shaman energy is coming up here too with the medicine man or woman. Somebody being persecuted for like alternative medicine practices or a fear of that, like so not wanting to go into what they really love because of fear that, that they'll be judged for it. That's also showing like, well, why, why would anyone like use an old-fashioned suitcase with no wheels these days if they had the opportunity to just try something new that worked better and made things easier for people. So it's about leaving tradition behind. Sometimes it needs to be new. Leave the, leave the old suitcase on the train tracks. We don't care if the train runs over that. <laughs> it's ugly anyway, is what I'm hearing.
Somebody's running a marathon also. Ah, someone wants to be a stud muffin for their twin when they come in. So they're running a marathon. They're pretending they're being chased for being in the Salem witch trials. <laughs> Um, or having a, get, uh, given someone ayahuasca or something without a license or something. I'm just, they're just being funny. I don't know if I said that right, but okay. That's that one pile. Let's see what we get from this one. Okay. So today baby's upright, which it hasn't been. It's been reversed. So definitely it's just, you know, with the baby, it's always new can be a child. Um, Native Americans reversed and the authority figures are reversed. So, oh, court system may be done. Somebody's been fighting in court for a long time. It's over. I don't know if that were the, were the Indians. I, I'm sorry, I'm kind of ignorant about the uh, information about that. I know the Indians were fighting for land, um, something specific. I know they're always fighting for their own land, but um, I know there was something specific going on recently. So it has something to do with that, that it's, the, it's done. It was some kind of fight over land or money for the Indians, the Native American Indians. And that court's been, that's been settled. I don't know if it's settled in their favor or not, but I'm seeing that it's done. That there's been a there's been an agreement, a settlement that makes both sides happy. It's like a union settlement, is what I'm getting. I'm getting that um, there no longer needs to be the fighting, because as long as we're in court, we're not out in nature, and it's not good for the babies, the baby birds who are affected by it, that they need their mother and father both there to raise them properly. Even if not living together, that's not the point. The point is they need to both be fam parents who are present to their children. Without them fighting each other without putting the child in between them, right, to try to get back at each other. That's the problem with children, is that the parents don't act like grown-ups in those situations. So what do we have? We have one, two, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it adds up to 12 again, so completion again. Let's see what these guys say. Some of the, the warriors are still struggling with getting it as far as breakthroughs and not needing to be a warrior, right? Not needing to be the big muscular man that saves the day and takes on everybody else's responsibilities. So some of them are still working on getting that whole thing, right? Because they're still used to that, the night being a night wound. Oh, I was just getting night moves. Working on... The night moves, yeah. I wish I can remember the words. Not so much to have, so much to lose. Working on the night moves, and everything comes closing in. All right, so it's about um, the night. <laughs> And the knighthood, though, but just letting go of them, them feeling like they still need to be the knight and or the warrior, you know, the soldier. They don't need the armor. They don't need the protection. They don't need to save everyone. They need to save themselves and connect. They'll still, they'll still be there. They're not going to change. They are who they are. But just saying, when you have all that armor on you, it's fear. And when you're in fear, you're not in love. 
and you need to love your divine feminine. So lessons and blessings is also reversed. And when it's upright, it's all about time, and so we're not in time anymore. Lessons and blessings of the past. It's all about staying present now, in your present moment, without fear. Because phobias is just all about fear. It's another word for fear. If you're in fear, you're not in love. And if you're not in love, you're not connected to your higher self. Okay? So it's all about being connected. And then also communal living is coming up here. Okay? So there'll be more, um, more communities being formed of alternative, um, alternative everything. So just... Um, very spiritual communities, spiritually based, whether it's food, to medicine, to um, athletics, to arts, whatever it is, it'll be more alternatively oriented, more natural. And of course, organic, all that kind of stuff. But very natural, authentic to each person. But they'll be coming together. You know, so it'll, it'll be more like um, everyone's an individual and yet a community together. So there's always the sharing that can be done there. And so, you know, you can uh, trade services and all that kind of thing but just very uh, mutually based. So it'd be like, um, you know, owning a building with all like-minded people who really all are on the same page and they resonate with each other. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, the only thing, the only obstacle here is just the resistance of the masculines not wanting to give up their, they think if they give up being a knight, they're giving up their masculinity. So it's just need a little work on that to let go. It's just ego. We're not asking you to give up your masculinity. You're supposed to be you. Just the need to control. And when you put armor on and you won't be your authentic self, you can't have a loving relationship. Take another deep breath, you guys. Clear and align. Clear and align. Fill the empty spaces with only beautiful, organic love and light. Done. And this again is April 1st, 2019. For everyone watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do, we need, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? I'm still affected by Mercury retrograde. And God, please arm us all with you. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? bottom of the deck is Heart of God, which is number nine, which is the hermit, the wise one, the collective consciousness. Okay. It's like the heart of the flower. It's very green and sparkly. It's like the golden sun, but that kind of limish green. And beneath that was the temple. So the first card that came out here is the Yinang Lover, which we'll read that one for sure. Okay. That was weird because it looks nothing like that. I was getting, I was getting the wizard. Oh, I forgot to tell everyone. I woke up to. It was the Wizard of Oz. What am I thinking? It might have been s somewhere over the rainbow. I'm pretty sure I woke up. It was the Wizard of Oz. There was some really. It was a really positive song, though. I mean, it had to be somewhere over the rainbow. I thought it blue and the, the dream. Yep, that was it. Somewhere over the rainbow. I woke up this morning. But um, it was so weird because I was just having another conversation with a twin flame friend, and the Wizard of Oz came up about the monkeys because I had a. I did a Soaz release. And so I had some really weird images come up. And one of them was like a combination of the stuff from the Wizard of Oz where it's like the witch and the monkey together, like seeing that kind of face, but it was kind of like a voodoo face. Uh, when I just showed this card on the screen, I was seeing it as a monkey's face. And it was reminding me back of that. But it's also like my frizzy hair, this one. It always has like that strand of hair in the middle. <laughs> just being funny um, that 
Hairs, yes, hairs grow in the funkiest of places. <laughs> Um, it's saying that there's a, you know, you have hair on the body for a reason, right? And even like at the bottom of the lungs where you have all the little tiny particles. Yeah, don't be so against your hair because it protects you naturally. Just like the nature grows around to protect you. It has to do with, you know, shaving and stuff like that. Saying it's a natural protectant. So, um, all right, say one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so it's seven cards all together. So it's six of the lovers and love in general, and then the one of the yin yang, yin yang lover, which makes the seven, that very spiritual energy. The chariot. Again, your chariot awaits. I don't know if I can show you all these cards, a bunch of them. I'll show them to you individually, I guess, here. All right, we have Central Awakening. That is number 64. We have Intimacy, which is 35. That came up yesterday for Mary Magdalene. We have, the, we have Shakti, number 19. 19 is the sun, 35 is the wounded warrior, 64 is the 10 of swords. We have the choice, um, that was an eruption of light is 11, justice. Then we had uh, sacred convergence, which is 28. We just had 28 in the other deck, which is the two of wands. So justice, the two of wands, and the last one is 62, which is the eight of swords, which is anxiety. So the 10 of swords, which is betrayal and pain and ending of pain, and then here's the prison that you always put yourself back in into. It's, the theme is very much about circles of the vortex coming into the vortex. And you see the same theme through all, as, all facets of life, whether it's the human body, uh, whether it's um, an actual cyclone, or it's equipment or a centrifuge, you know, you see it everywhere. It's represented everywhere. Anything that comes from the body is represented somewhere else in the universe all the time. Allow it all to be different. Say, one day the next can be completely different, but just allow it all to flow naturally. I'm just getting the circles and flowing in and out. It doesn't have to be the same direction. Just change lanes sometimes. Make something different. Change the pattern. Change the tradition. But let it be smooth. Sometimes it's a little more choppy than others, but just get back right back on the road again. That's what I'm getting is just to keep it flowing. I'm going to read you the Yin Yang Lover here. Yin Yang Lover says, The force of attraction is stronger than your conscious control. There's no need to fight this inner genius. You can learn to speak its language instead. What is it that captures you, that pulls you close, that holds so much light for you? Why fight it? Don't step away from what you really love to grab hold of a second prize. Why not claim your first prize? It is there waiting for you. It is yours alone, beloved. No one else can claim your own divine birthright for you. Be yielding and let your desire fill your body, your heart, and your mind. You don't have to fight for what is already yours. It will come to you through the field of attraction that emita emanates from your own heart. It is not a question of worthiness or deservedness. It is not a question of trying to work out what you need or want. Your heart always knows. Listen. If you, can, if you still can't hear, then just feel. You'll get the gist of it soon enough. This oracle has a message for you. That no matter whether you seem to be heading closer to your goal or further away, you're making real spiritual progress, and what you want is the same thing that's wanting you. What you are seeking is seeking you. It's only a matter of time before you get it. 
the moment when to feel my heart again is measured not in time or sweet remorse, nor tears that wash away unbridled pain, or morning's light which sings its soft retort. Such love as slept through storm and winters long, no call could break the stillness's embrace, or hasten, ch or hasten change before the season's song unfurls its melody in words so chaste. Empowered thus I found myself compelled to cast aside emotions dormant still. My feelings spoke from depths, the answer welled, no need or past the emptiness to fill. At one our touch has opened both hearts anew, a patience born there waits a love so true. That love always comes back. You know, it's just the, the ebb and flow. So all the cards were saying that, you know, go with the flow, it changes. You gotta change now and then, mix things up. But just allow it all. Stay in your knowing. All right, I'm gonna show you the cards. All right, this is the basic read here. Okay, and then we have the full read. Let me take this away for a second so you can see better. Alright guys, rise and be loved.